what's up traders in this video I'm going to show you how to set up these hot buttons in case you're just not having success using your hotkeys so let's get right to it so to get started let's just go into our sure trader and we're going to open up a new montage now depending on what layout you have as your default um, it's gonna this this is probably the one that'll come up and I think most of the time it might be this small um, if you have level 2 not exactly sure exactly how it would come up however um, pretty much to make a button it's pretty simple I mean it even tells you just right click here add a row um, add a button number so if you want one button in the row you just put one you gotta kind of click in a weird spot to add another row. Say you want two, and then we'll do one more, three. Actually, we'll do four. I mean, sky's the limit. I don't. I mean, I've never actually tried, but apparently you can do ten if you really want to. Um, if you want to delete a row, obviously, um, just click on any of the buttons within the row. Um, you can delete that button or the whole row. Now, one thing about these buttons is you can't rearrange them once they're in place. So, like, you can't click and drag. Um, so, what I recommend is maybe taking a piece of paper out and drafting up what you want yours to look like. Mine, let's just pull one of these in. This is my main one. Uh, bring it back in here. Give it the title bar. So just to put these side by side, so I mean you could obviously go off of what I have. Um, I I must have before I came to my final montage setup like this, I must have had probably at least 15 different configurations before I was actually kind of happy with this one. Um, but with that said, to make your buttons actually work into uh, change colors and all that good and the names and stuff all you gotta do is right click and you're gonna hit edit now in here this is where you would name it so let's say we're gonna try to make uh, the sell now button um, we'll make it with a market order so just like you see on mine we would do that we can change the color to the red and then uh, this is also where you would make the size of the buttons. You can make them bigger or smaller. Um, we'll actually change this one to 20 just to show you the difference. And I can't leave this blank right now, but I'll show you what to put in here in a second. So there you go. See how small it made it? And actually, that's, that's right. That's one other thing is when you change the size of one button, they all have to be the same size. So if you want them small, you can have them small. If you want them bigger, you can have them bigger. Um, I don't know exactly. Again, I don't. I've never went to the extremes with this, but if you want to just have like uh, three main buttons where you can have uh, buy a market, sell market, short market, you know, you can do whatever you want. I mean, sell and uh, buy are really the only two that you actually need. Um, you could essentially make like a reverse one, like if you like to play both ways. Um, but sky's the limit on that. We're just going to put this back to the default, which is 30. Uh, we'll clean this up a little bit. We'll get rid of this row. We'll get rid of this row. And we'll just kind of make it like this. Um, my default layout, I use uh, a stop, um, stop order. So to change your layout config, you got to find like the place where you can click. Maybe it's down here. I mean, it's the one thing is you got to click in special places. Maybe it's down here. There we go. Um, so I have mine set the stop order and that will give you all the extra stuff um, just to show you you would have to put stop put your price that you want to stop at and then you can make that a market limit trailing a range I always use just limit most of the time I'm trying to cover a position um, because I'm short bias so I usually try to have myself get filled at a certain price and that's that so that way I don't you know overstay my welcome in some trades um, but back to this, to get this script, um, this is where if you've used hotkeys in the past, it's actually a good thing because you're going to go up to setup into hotkey, and this one's actually right up top. 
So what you're going to do is you're just going to hit edit, you're going to highlight, copy, cancel out, and you're going to go here, edit, and paste. And you're good to go. So now if I wanted to sell a market order, I would just hit this. Obviously it's going to tell me it's in valid shares, um, but that's obviously because we're not in a position. Um, also, this is set to just sell position, uh, as you can see right there. Uh, let me go to it. Uh, right here, it's not set to go both ways um, like my other buttons, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, but this is just set to sell, share, uh, sell your position overall. So you would have to be in a long position for this button to work. And the only reason you would really use this button is if. Uh, say something is just getting the rug pulled or uh, fell through a support level and you just want to get out um, really quickly obviously to me you should never sell into something like that the only reason I would ever sell into something like that is some if I'm holding a long position for way too long and all of a sudden I hear bad news come out and you just see it tanking I mean that's probably the one time I'd probably use this button but it never hurts to have it. It's not wasting any space for me. So that is what it is. Um, so next I'll show you this. Uh, we'll just transform this one into my this button. And I'm just going to copy paste the script from here. Um, and I can even get into the scripts if you want at some other point. Uh, but basically this one is just set to sell. And I th thought... Okay. I was going to say, I thought this one was the bid one is 10. That would have been a little weird that I've been using it all this time without it being. Um, but this is say you have a long position and you want to sell just to, you want to try to get out of the, you know, make sure you get out of the trade. Um, you can hit this button and what it's going to do is it's going to put you in on the bid. And if you can't get the bid because say it's dropping, it's going to hit you anywhere between what the current bid is when you hit the button to 10 cents below the bid so the odds are you're going to get out unless you're in a super volatile stock you know like maybe you know the higher price stocks that can move that quickly um, but the odds are this is most likely always going to get you out of your position especially in everything that I trade at. you know obviously you would adjust this accordingly if you think that sometimes it could drop 30 cents on you and you want to make sure you can get out you could make it that or I mean at that point you might as well just use the market order because it would essentially be the same thing to me um, anything over 10 cents you know I should have just marketed out anyway um, so what we'll do is we'll just copy paste this just to kind of just show you how I mean you can oh we'll just set up a new button it's fine so I'll do that and then we'll hit sell now this one's not as extreme so we'll just put bid minus 10 cents and we'll change it to a little bit of a more a green red actually I think that's my short red oh, no, actually I think that's it so we'll see let's see what this looks like not close enough it actually looks a little darker forever it might not be but it just looks like it um, so now I got that one now what I was getting at um, actually let me I think it's just with these but essentially when you're short a position, um, I would hope that everyone knows if not, um, if you're short a position, uh, to essentially get out of that position you have to cover your shares. Well when you're covering your shares it's the same thing as buying shares. So that's why I can use the same button for this, for covering and if I wanted to just buy 150 shares. Um, and on these I only use plus 05 um, and that's to prevent me from getting filled too high. I don't like to put plus 10 because a lot of the stocks I'm trading, you know, I'm, I'm looking for that edge. So I don't want to hit the button and get filled 10 cents above where I thought I was getting in on the ask because it jumped on me. Um, five cents, maybe, you know, I feel okay with that. But 10 cents, I feel like, you know, it could just turn around and someone could smash the bid again. And now I'm, you know, down. 10 cents which is sometimes where I like to keep my stop because now my stop went from I try to get in as close to like a support level as possible if I am doing that you know and sometimes that's 10 cents but if 
it jumps me up 10 cents now it's 20 cents just like that doubled my stop you know range and that's not okay with me so I like to keep it at five cents if I if I miss a trade which has happened you know several times you know it just wasn't meant for me to get into and I try to just look at it like that there's always going to be another trade um, but anyways again um, I'll show you the, how to do this the other way this time um, just to refresh you so say we wanted to buy and there's all kinds of different hotkeys you know you can put on these whatever you want you can literally set up um, so when you hit a one of these buttons that and you can change the name to it obviously but you can hit it on your montage and it'll pull up the daily chart I mean it's pretty cool but I don't think a lot of people are you know going to be using it for that and a lot of that is available obviously like within the chart you know you don't need that kind of stuff this is more for just buying and selling your position just getting in and getting out of your position <clears throat> um, so for the buy I'm pretty sure it was just one that I set up Some of these are the stock ones. I mean, maybe I just, I don't know. I'm not seeing just the regular buy. I actually used to use a percentage of my buying power. And then I also set keys up for buying with what my equity was. So I wouldn't be using margin. And so if you want to kind of look at those, those are the numbers you would use for that. Um, I'm not seeing... A regular buy <laughs> order maybe I just made it and actually didn't uh, save it as a hotkey I just made the script and used it so we'll just look at it here we'll just copy paste uh, we'll see here. Boom. cover I mean and you can we'll just say just buy 150 shares but just so you know, you can make it so that it would cover and buy. Oh, forgot to change color. Change it to green because it's buy. And there you go. Now remember, keep in mind, once you make these rows, now if I wanted to put this buy up here, I would have to literally delete this row, which luckily would bring this up. However, if I wanted it over here, I would have to switch these two around manually, and you can't click and drag. It's just not possible. Um, but other than that unless you guys have any questions I mean like I said you can literally take any of the hotkeys and all you have to do is just make a row which right click add row as many buttons as you want and then edit and then bam I mean just put the script from the hotkeys right in here name it color it you can change the text color along with the back color. I mean you can do all kinds of things like if I wanted to make this white for whatever reason so it's harder to see <laughs> then you can do that I mean the DAS platform is pretty cool in some aspects and to me this is one of them I just don't like looking at hotkeys especially because I want to be looking at my screen I don't want to have to be looking down at my keyboard making sure I'm hitting the right keys you know I'm actually a really good typer <laughs> as well so it's like I'm pretty good with the keyboard but I just don't like having to look down at my keyboard to make sure I'm hitting the right keys I'd rather be you know I can just bloop, real quick like quick peripheral vision or just you know quick glance to the montage and you know when I have my main charts up oh, I gotta, un, gotta pop it back out put it back into place which I think made it a little too big um, make no title and so like when I'm staring at my chart here watching time and sales if I am watching time and sales which I do in most cases um, uh, it'll just let me show that's the link to it. Um, that way I can just like if I'm like alright which I wish I would have bought this stock at some point today <laughs> uh, I could have I just right here and then I'm staring right back at the chart again I mean hockey's you know sometimes you gotta like look down at the keyboard and then make sure your fingers are placed right and you know if you do it enough obviously you get used to it but I used to use hotkeys and they just weren't for me just like uh, everyone has a different trading style everyone has you know different everything and to me these buttons were just something that I came across and I absolutely love them I just can't imagine using anything else that's all there is to it 
But if you guys have any questions, um, just let me know. Uh, can always make some more videos on how to do other things. Uh, I used to be into trying to make different hotkeys, so if you have any questions about them, one of the ones that uh, I was actually pretty proud of making was this one. You would buy X amount of shares and then it would place a 10 cent trail stop on it, which was pretty cool. So that way, if you're new, and I was new at the time, so this was something that I wanted to you know, figure out, where I would find a stock where, like, <laughs> just for out of curiosity, let's zoom in here on this. So let's say at some point this morning, you know, some people are going to tell you 10 cents isn't enough of, you know, a stop, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's just say, like, right in here, let's say, like, right here. So what's the high of this candle? 195. The low of this candle is 187. So let's just say you got in here with that hockey, right? And it set a 10 cent trailing stop. You at all, you're comfortable losing 10 cents on your trade. Say you're comfortable every trade losing $100. So you took 1,000 shares because every time you hit the button, the max you can lose is $100. Or say you took 500 shares because the max you want to lose is $50. You know, you get the math. But so you would have caught this move as she's coming down she would drop down tested your stop doesn't hit it comes back up and as this goes up right the 10 cent trail goes with it so you're gonna catch this whole move and then let's see well maybe <laughs> that's the other thing let me, let me go to the one minute alright let's go back to it so right here it looks like you would have caught all of it. So let's say the high of this candle is 237. And the low of this one was 221. So you would have stopped out at 227 here. But the cool part is you wouldn't have had, I mean, obviously you could have got more out of it. It went up to 250. Once you stop out at 227, look at the low of this candle is 230 and then she went down 225 she does come back up but then look she ends up coming back down to two like to test two dollars before she made her move again but the whole point of this is to really just kind of lock in your gains that was the whole point of me making that button was okay I'm okay with losing this amount uh, if I don't lose this amount you know and I catch part of a good move you know I'm looking for more of a two to one type thing so once it gets up here, it almost kind of guarantees it for you. And it's that simple. So with that, guys, I'll leave you. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. See you.